Hi guys, today I have a special video for you to answer your questions about the boards that I use for my cakes. If I have a simple one tier cake, uh, then I don't complicate, I just buy a simple board. And if I do 3D cakes that need special construction, uh, I always use wood, wooden boards. My husband just cuts it out depending on the size that I need. And today I'm going to show you how I do that, how I put a fab fabric onto my board and to make it look pretty. And uh, I'm going to show you now how to do that. For my cake boards, I need some uh, wooden plate. This one is round, as you can see, and uh, some fabric. I need a spray glue, double-sided tape, some scissors, and if I have a special cake that's very representable, I spend a lot of time doing it, then I use prettier uh, feet. This one uh, are rubber feet. And for any other cakes, I use just a piece of styrofoam that I glue underneath on the bottom that you have a height. This height is necessary if you have construction and you need some washers and nuts to tighten everything up. And because of all those nuts and washers, you have a little distance down here. And you do need some feet to, to have the right height. And it's easier to grab on. So, let's get started. Just cut out the size that you need, fabric. Now make it round. You don't have to be very precise with that. So I have my fabric cut out and this is my uh, board and I want to place the fabric on the upper side. So you just spray the glue on the upper side and on the sides. I have my hole pre-drilled, you need that before you apply the fabric. It's easier. Once you do that, you just place it in the middle and then apply some glue on the edges. And then just slowly glue the fabric on. If it doesn't stick, use some more glue. It helps if the fabric is a little bit stretchy. You can do a nicer job.
Sometimes I also cut a uh, roundish, a little bit smaller than this board, a piece of cardboard and then I place it on to have a more beautiful finish, but you don't have to do that. Next thing, I cut off a little bit of this axis. I don't know why today it doesn't want to glue on. Okay. But I won't give up. This is my board. And now, if I place this styrofoam feet on it, I just use double-sided tape, cut off uh, a little piece that matches this size and then just I glue them on on four sides a little bit inwards and that's it but today I have my special feet and because I have these holes pre-drilled I have to make axis so I'll just cut off some fabric That's it. Once you attached your feet, then you have to cut off this fabric in the middle where your hole is. I usually do all this work in my garage or in my workshop. I don't do it in my kitchen, but I have to do it today so I can show you. Once you have your fabric cut off, out. If my glue was strong enough, which it apparently isn't today, uh, this would hold the fabric. Uh, if you feel like it's too loosened, you can use some double-sided tape on underneath and glue this on. I think this will work. And now, what I do, I take my cellophane sheet, cellophane sheet, and I will cover this fabric just to protect it from get it uh, to just to protect it so it doesn't get stained. And afterwards, when all the cake is finished, we'll just tear it off. And uh, the lovely thing about this is that your cake won't touch the fabric at any time. Once your cake is finished, you just tear off on the side this cellophane sheet and it comes off right on the edge. That's great. So your cake doesn't touch the fabric. It's all food safe. Now we have to cut off 
cut out a circle for this one. Now it comes another thing that I have to tell you. To make sure this cellophane sheet doesn't come off, it's good to know, but you have to know how big the size of your cake is. My cake will be 30 centimeter in diameter, so I know that I can place some double-sided tape board and where this and like this sometimes you have a fabric that doesn't want to stick with this double sided tape I hope this will work Far so good. It usually sticks right away. This fabric is so smooth. Okay. You can also do it, do it like this, it's easier. it on the middle and then use some sticky tape and we're just going just tape the cellophane sheet not on the fabric not on the board just the cellophane sheet itself so that you won't have problems later on when the board is turned on the other side and your cake is on it will be difficult to unglue it if you tape it on the board avoid your feet My board all I have to do now is to cut a hole uh, out of this cellophane sheet and it's, it likes to get tear on the edges when where you cut it so it's better if you just use a little bit of sticky tape on the edge of this hole Then you can cut off safely.
and this is it now when you have your long threaded rod you cut it uh, the size that you need then you just place it in but first you need some washers and some nuts oh, it goes like this I'll just tighten it with my hands, with my fingers, but you can do it with tools, so it's more tightened. So, and this is it. This is my construction, this is my board, my, my fabric is protected so it doesn't get stained and with the cellophane sheet and this is all guys i hope you like this video it's the same thing with the square uh, board and uh, tell me what you think have a great day and don't ever forget anything is possible bye bye